Every week, many things are happening in MMORPG gaming world, so I have decided to bring to you every Sunday fresh news here on my YouTube channel. You will find out all you need to know about the new upcoming MMORPGs, new events, new updates and much more just within a few minutes time. So let's not waste time, let's dive into video. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content in the future. I am live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that was introduction, now let's dive into video. First, let's talk about Lost Ark, because we have finally get officially confirmed release date for Reaper, new class of Lost Ark here in the West. I mean, we knew from before actually that we are getting a Reaper during November and Summoner during December, but we didn't know official release date. And finally, in the previous week, we have get that official information right from Amazon Games. You can see here, Heroes of Arcasia on November 16, the Reaper Advanced class will arrive in Arcasia. Something absolutely amazing, I have to say, because a Reaper is one of the most wanted classes here in the West, right? I have played many classes over there in Korea, and Reaper was one of the best classes in generally how it feels under the fingers. I'm here on the official website of Lost Stark here in the West from Amazon Games. You can check all the details here regarding new class, and you can check already some dedicated videos in generally guides regarding classes on my YouTube channel if you're interested in Lost Stark. I'm playing Lost Stark. well, basically since the release over there in Korea, and of course I have continued to play this game after Western release. Lately I'm not playing that much uh, Lost Stark. however, still I'm following everything what is happening with Lost Stark. so check lots of content regarding Lost Stark on my YouTube channel. For today's video, just to let you know, we are getting a new class Reaper on November 16. Try to play it, I can highly recommend to you if you want to return to Lost Stark. this would maybe be good opportunity to return to this game because this is one really beautiful class to play. I will use my Punica Power Pass on this class for sure, on Reaper, and I will try to play it. Regarding Lost Stark, also I want to show you here number of players, which is actually looking really good. You can see here 24 hour peak, 243,000 players, and I know you will see there are still lots of bots in the game. Yes, they are there. I assume at least uh, one third, not maybe one third, maybe one quarter out of this number are actually bots. However, there are still lots of players in the game, right? So, so at least there is one. 100,000 players still in the game. So Lost Stark, don't forget during November, actually very very soon in a few days, November 16, we are getting new class Reaper here in the West and also regarding Lost Stark over there in Korea, of course I'm following what is happening over there in Korea, recently we have got a new map, new continent over there in Korea, however regarding new classes there is nothing new, right? We are still waiting for some kind of official announcement because Probably next new class over there in Korea should be female berserker. Imagine that, right? Female berserker. That would be something really insane, right? However, for now, you can see here lots of events currently happening. They always have lots of events over there in Korea different kind of events and we have get that new map but beside that i wouldn't say something huge is happening there if i see anything interesting is happening regarding low stark it doesn't matter is it over there in korea or here in the west i will let you know about that instantly here on my youtube channel for this week just to let you know reaper is coming on november 16th Let's go forward with Summoner's War Chronicles. This is new upcoming MMORPG, and when I say upcoming MMORPG, I will explain this. It's upcoming uh, for uh, Europe and South America and the rest of the world. Regarding United States and Canada, this game was released already on November 11. Imagine that. This game was released only for United States and Canada, so for North America. Nowhere else. I was try I did try to play, of course, Summoner's War Chronicles. I'm in Croatia, I'm in Europe. I did try to play it throughout Steam, and look what happened, right? 
Oops, sorry. Yeah, so I cannot play this game uh, throughout uh, PC, right? Maybe you can try to play it throughout your mobile devices. Maybe you will even succeed. However, just to let you know that Summoner's War Chronicles, a new upcoming MMORPG, was released for United States and Canada. So for North America on November 11, this is one interesting anime MMORPG, free to play, yes, real MMORPG. Summoner's War Chronicles is a new IP. Summoner's War is not a new IP. We know that name from the past, that title. However, Summoner's War Chronicles is something else, right? This is one real MMORPG. You can see here pre-registrations are over from uh, for United States and Canada. But I can show you here, basically gameplay of this game is based on you taking a part, taking a role of one of three summoners. You can see here Cliff, Orbia and uh, Kina. You are taking role of one of these three summoners and then you are able to control, collect and control one of, or actually not one, many out of here you can see 350 different monsters. Beautiful graphic design you can see here lots of different kind of monsters you can already check some dedicated videos regarding summoners war chronicles on my youtube channel and i was kind of hoping i will be able to play this game from november 11 but you can see here yeah uh, Europe is uh, blocked, right? So, regarding this game, we still need to wait for European release and not only for Europe, South America and the rest of the world, right? Uh, regarding global release and uh, players in North America and uh, Canada can already enjoy in this uh, new upcoming MMORPG. If I see something concrete regarding European release, South America release, I will let you know about that here on my YouTube channel. In a meanwhile, what else we can do just to hope that we will see release of this game very soon globally, like a real global release. Let's go forward with Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol is a new upcoming MMORPG developed by Bandai Namco, developers from Japan. Within last year, we didn't get too many information regarding development of this game. At one point in time, we were all thinking even that maybe this game is cancelled. However, just about a few days ago, finally here on official Twitter account of Blue Protocol, we have get one new tweet after 14 months. Where is that tweet? It's here. So let me show you here, this tweet was actually about, uh, I mean, Bandai Namco developers of the game, they didn't give us any kind of new information, they were just announcing that we will get new information in the next week. And now, just about a few hours ago, I have seen this announcement here, actually this was posted, you can see here on November 9, uh, they are announcing big new event, which will happen, which will happen on November 15, and within that live event, uh, they are explaining here that this event will be held in two parts, basically we'll get new information regarding what is happening with this game, we have here, look at this, network test and current development status so this is a huge thing november 15 i will follow what is happening with blue protocol we might get some new information i mean we will get some new information but what kind of information that remains to be seen i doubt we will get some kind of release date or release window however you will see at least what is current development status of this game right what is happening with blue protocol because like i said we didn't get any kind of new information for last 14 months that's a huge, that's a very long period of time, right? So, what to say except November 15, don't forget about this date. On November 16, maybe even on November 15, the same day, I will have a new video on my YouTube channel only about Blue Protocol to let you know what happened over there, right? During this uh, live stream, during this event, what kind of new information we have get from Bandai Namco. We can only hope for the best, but I assume we will not see release of this game for a longer period of time. Probably until second half of 2023 or maybe even until 2024 because recently like i have said development of this game i think it was not advancing actually like that uh, it's supposed to be right so blue protocol something to look forward to play in the future uh, free to play mmorpg yes real mmorpg free to play business model amazing beautiful anime graphic style lots of classes we have already seen we have seen some combat check dedicated videos on my youtube channel but uh, yeah so far no news regarding release or anything concrete until november 15.
let's go forward with iron classic european lease and before i say that there is nothing new officially i would say that i mean things are absolutely moving into positive direction because within previous week we have seen galea's community manager of ion announcing to us that we'll get some kind of concrete information before christmas yes christmas of 2022 not christmas of 2023 so basically within next month and a half a little bit less we'll get some kind of concrete information regarding iron classic european release and believe me when i say that don't worry we'll get iron classic released in europe we still need to get release date business model and many other details regarding this new upcoming let's say it on that way pc mmorpg however just be patient a little bit more i think within next week we'll get that information uh, Galea said well before Christmas that means that Gameforge and Galea's community manager of Ion will not wait for the last day or week before Christmas we should get new information very very soon I assume within next few days maybe week or maximum let's say two weeks so be patient a little bit more here on my YouTube channel you can already check lots of videos regarding Ion Classic check gameplay and guides for new players and also in generally if you are interested into ion you will find about 200 videos on my youtube channel because i'm playing this game for 10 years now and also i can show you here regarding ion classic or there in korea huge things are currently happening we have get a new class executioner on november 9 within a big new update but that was not everything we have get also new area new stigmas for all classes imagine that new stigmas for all classes check dedicated video on my youtube channel regarding new stigmas for all classes and regarding all other changes of new update which was released over there in korea on november 9 so we have also get lots of changes regarding the legion system ncsoft developers of the game are working on that they have implemented many many changes to expand that legion system of ion i have to say that was really a good move because in my opinion guild system of any mmorpg it's a very important part of any mmorpg to play with your teammates with your guild members is very important right so so we have get huge new update over there in korea on november 9 check details on dedicated videos on my youtube channel also you'll find two videos already three videos regarding new class uh, executioner so regarding iron classic many exciting things are happening and they are about to happen very soon regarding iron classic european release don't lose hope because i still didn't lose it hype is real we are getting new information regarding iron classic european release very soon and i hope a release of this game very very soon this year who knows maybe in december or maybe in january next year right well we'll see right anyway news are incoming soon it's really exciting right so stay tuned here on my youtube channel make sure to subscribe and follow me on twitch if you are interested into io classic i'm also live streaming every evening about seven o'clock central european time gameplay i'm uh, playing different kind of classes over there on servers in north america currently i'm playing chanter templar and gladiator Follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube channel to be updated regarding everything what is happening with Iron Classic European release. Let's go forward with Throne and Liberty. Throne and Liberty is a new upcoming MMORPG developed by NCSoft for PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox. Regarding Throne and Liberty, actually we have get some news within previous week. I can show you here, we have get, let me see here, Financial results for third quarter of 2022, officially from NCSoft. And within this report, I have read already lots of data regarding financial things. You can see here just one sentence or there it's also written in this uh, report. New PC console title Throne and Liberty aims to launch in the first half of 2023. So we have get actually that information confirmed. They didn't delay the game, right? So NCSoft have actually confirmed within these financial results that they are aiming to launch Throne and Liberty globally in first half of 2023. Other than that, we are now waiting for G-Star 2022. Also, I have seen one interview with developers of the game uh, in generally from NCSoft, right? And regarding, they were talking a little bit also about uh, 
about uh, Heron and Liberty. However, I didn't see any kind of huge uh, new information within that interview. So there is nothing huge currently happening with Heron and Liberty. However, yes, we have get officially confirmed first half of 2023 release and now all we can do is to wait for g star 2022 g star is starting just in a few days november 17 and on november 18 one gentleman from nc soft we have a speech over there on g star 2022 and maybe during that speech we will hear some new information regarding throne and liberty i will follow everything what is happening on g star 2022 not only because of throne and liberty mainly because of this game however we might hear some new information regarding Regarding other games like Bella Torres and many many new other upcoming titles so stay tuned on my youtube channel you will hear lots of interesting information regarding what is happening on G Star 2022 from previous week just to let you know regarding throne and liberty we have get officially confirmed again within this financial results for third quarter of 2022 that this game huge release huge MMORPG will be released in the first half of 2023 Let's go forward with Tower of Fantasy. Tower of Fantasy is a new MMORPG, anime MMORPG, which was released recently globally. You can see here in front of you, just, uh, well, I wouldn't say a long time ago, it was actually pretty recently, we have got a new update, version 2.0, with a new map, new continent, let's say it like that, Vera. And I was actually pretty much surprised when I have seen this. In this tweet, you can see here that we are getting another new update, 2.1 already on november 22nd i have to say that publisher and developers of the game are very active regarding global version of this game you can see here a little bit of beautiful graphic design look at this absolutely beautiful characters and i have to say this game have really amazing combat i don't know did you try to play ever before Tower of Fantasy, it's one very interesting MMORPG with lots of content to play, PvP-wise, PvE-wise, with beautiful characters. This is gacha kind of game, yes, gacha kind of game, and don't forget, free-to-play game. So just to let you know that we are getting a new version, new update, 2.1, Confounding Labyrinth, on November 22nd. Wow, that's actually very soon after this update, right? 2.0, Vera 2.0. Also, I can show you here on Steam database some numbers. Uh, you can play Tower of Fantasy as a free-to-play game right now on Steam. This game on the start after global release wasn't released on Steam. And you can see here some numbers which are actually not accurate because huge majority of the players are still playing this game throughout original game client, including me, not throughout Steam. So you can see here 4.8 thousand players at 24 hour peak that is actually not correct right these are only players who are playing this game throughout steam don't forget huge majority of the players are playing this game throughout mobile devices and throughout original pc client so these numbers are actually much higher there are still many players playing this game number of players went down for sure that is kind of natural that is happening with any game not only regarding every mmorpg but i'm sure that many players will continue to play this game because you can see here developers of the game are continuing to provide lots of new content new updates and new events and graphically it's very appealing i have to say graphic design and combat are the one of the highlights of this game so free to play mmorpg try to play it during november if you still didn't try to play it before tower of fantasy is getting new update on november 22nd let's go forward with traha global traha global is a new mmorpg recently released globally you can see here you can play this game on app store and google play on your mobile devices and of course on steam on your pc i have tried to play of course this game on my pc and i have to say regarding gameplay well i wouldn't say it was not enjoyable experience however you can check full review of this game my first and final impressions is this game worth playing after global release from my video about two days ago on my YouTube channel. 
In my opinion, actually, this is not some bad MMORPG. You can see here mixed reviews, 44% of the 661 user reviews for this game are positive. However, you, do, you know what I don't like about this game is user interface. You can feel all the time while you play this game that this is actually one mobile port to PC, nothing else. Currently, you can see here number of players on Steam database is not that high. 24 hours peak is 3,100 players. All time peak was 10 days ago. That was actually for release of the game, 8,000 players. Not that much. And I have to say, I'm not surprised. Number of players is going down. I have no doubt, still some players will play this MMORPG because this is free to play game, which you can play on your mobile devices also. If you play it on your mobile devices, it might actually feel pretty good under the fingers. However, on your PC, check some dedicated videos. I have some videos where you can see gameplay of uh, Traha Global on PC. It's just a user interface for mobile devices, not for PC. It's sad to see the developers of the game and publisher Moai Games. It's written here. This company, Moai Games Corporation, is the developer and publisher of the game. They didn't adjust user interface for mobile devices to be playable on a nice way, on appealing way on your PC. It's looking like one mobile port to PC, nothing else, right? So regarding Traha Global, just to let you know, this game was just recently released globally, right? If you want to try to play this game, I can recommend maybe try to play it on your mobile devices. However, on PC, if you like to play PC MMORPGs, you'll probably be disappointed because it doesn't matter it has 3,000 players here, a huge diversity of classes and weapons, lots of content to play, uh, two factions, uh, RVR content, one versus one arenas, crafting. Uh, there are many things actually about this game which sounds pretty good, one real MMORPG. However, like I have said, that user interface of a mobile device on PC, no, it's not working out for me. Try it out, Unreal Engine 4 MMORPG, recently released globally, free to play game. And like I have said, if it's your intention to play this game on mobile devices, you might like it. If you will play it on PC, I'm like 99% certain you will not like this game. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, many exciting things are currently happening in MMORPG gaming world. I have shown you here, we are getting a new class Reaper on November 16 here in the West. Something absolutely amazing. Don't miss this. Reaper feels absolutely amazing under the fingers. Also, we have got released Summoner's War Chronicles over there in the United States and Canada. Sadly, not in Europe and South America. Maybe that will happen very soon. And very very, very soon, just in a few days, on November 15, we'll finally get some concrete news regarding what is happening with development of Blue Protocol. We are getting that live event, I will follow that live event, and I will let you know in dedicated video, I will just give you main and most important information with that video, uh, what is happening with Blue Protocol, because we are waiting for this game for so long, right? And finally now, we are getting something concrete from Bandai Namco, developer of this game, on November 15. Also, we are very, very close to finally get official information regarding Iron Classic European release. That should happen within next few days. Yes, next few days, maybe week, maximum two weeks. That's like really maximum, 10 days, I assume. Let's say it like that. So be prepared, be patient a little bit more. Hype is real. I know how you feel. Uh, I'm waiting for this game for a long, long, long time. And you can check lots of videos on my YouTube channel. I'm really excited about this release. This will be something huge, something absolutely huge. This is one beautiful MMORPG. Early patch notes of Ion are something really amazing something which feels absolutely amazing under the fingers. So don't forget about this. We are getting very, very soon something concrete from Gameforge. I assume release date. You will see dedicated video on my YouTube channel as soon as we get new information from Gameforge. Let me know in the comments below video which new upcoming MMORPG are you waiting for to play after release and which MMORPG are you playing nowadays. If you are interested into MMORPGs, check my YouTube channel for lots of gameplay videos, guides, news and reviews from world of MMORPG gaming with main focus on new upcoming PC MMORPGs. 
Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content in the future. I am live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.